Chris Shatler. He'll find Shane Frazier with speed. Here's Frazier with wheels down the left side. Drops for Ralph coming in. Tries to go back door for Tavares. He scores! I don't know what Pierce Diamond was doing there. Ralph's pass was a mile in front of Tavares, but he takes it off the boards and then just throws it on net. And it beats Pierce Diamond, and the mob have the lead 256 in. Justin Frazier starts that exchange with some really good speed down the wing through the neutral zone. Makes a pass over to Brendan Ralph. Ralph sends a Ill, ill-fated pass over to J.C. Traveris. Traveris picks it up off the boards, and you're right, from a very difficult angle, finds the back of the net behind Diamond. Cornelis through the middle. Finds Evan Jumi. Jumi with speed down the right side, and he's rubbed out there by Stefan Wood. Greens are back the other way. Messenger in on the tube. It gets a shot off the rebounds there, and Sudor gets him twice. Nardi around the Oil Barons goal. Back up to the point. Mikov with a drive, and Sudor catches that one with Lapon looking across. Took that one up on the shoulder. Motley around the goal. Spinning. Now he gets a shot off, and Sudor down. Foster winds, fires the shot, and Sudor is able to make that save as Tavares didn't like the late stick there by Jaden Leslie. I think Tavares is going to be gone for sure, and I'm not sure if Leslie will be as well. Looks like Shumi might be. Shumi. At any rate, I think it's going to be coincidentals. Shumi came in very late. Shumi has Down a little... Down for Edwards. Edwards trying to walk out. He's forced wide by Foster. Edwards on the wraparound, and Diamond somehow gets that left pad across and robs Brett Edwards. Edwards is going to sit for a roughing call, and it's retaliation, and it's really unfortunate. For Messenger with a slap pass off his stick. Foster, back down low. Messenger to Motley. Drops. Messenger shot. He scores. That got up in a hurry. Morgan Messenger ties up the game on the power play with a minute 25 left here in the first period. We talked about a little bit earlier in the period on how Messenger's been the most dangerous offensive-minded player for the Wolverines, and we just saw why right there with a real hard one-time snapshot up high over the glove of Eric Sudor. Perfect positioning. His fifth goal of the postseason for Morgan Messenger, first goal of the series, and Whitecourt's power play has been on fire. They're 8 for 21 now here in this series. Foster drops the puck. It's picked off by Ralph. Here's Brandon Ralph down the left side, coming in. Ralph with the shot, and he rips it right off the crossbar and out. Messenger, and then Quillen play catch. Quillen, cross ice, cranky, sliding across his Sudor, and he robs him. There, it's dangerous in his own zone. It's turned over, centering pass. Nardi goes back door for Young, and he tips it over top of the goal and out of play. That was insane. We're young women. Upon around the goal, all the way up to the point. Spins, fires a shot, they score. A double deflection in front, the final one from Eric Cranky, and it gets over the glove hand of Eric Sudor, and the Wolverines have their first lead of the game. Wolverines have been so dangerous in the offensive zone, they're just able to set up a presence and force the Barons to find themselves chasing the play rather than initiating any plays of their own and finally they're rewarded with that offensive zone puck. Gets knocked down off the draw. Chumi has his stick in the midsection of McKintree. Leslie's hauled down and a penalty coming up here to Brett Edwards. And the oil bear will drop for Messenger to Mika. He'll send a high shot in and that one's caught by Eric Sudor behind his own goal. Oil bear just trying to eat the clock but they turn it over. Leskoski up front for Chumi scores! And that's a dagger. One second left in the period. Evan Chumi, after the Oil Barons get lazy in their own end, just trying to eat the clock. It's Chumi ripping a shot past the glove of Sudor, and the Wolverines will take a two-goal lead into the third. Absolutely a heartbreaking play by the mob. Again, they were trying to rag down the clock a little bit. It was an unforced, it was a tough turnover. Certainly the Wolverines worked for it, but it was Chumi with a real hard, low wrist shot. Low on the club side. the puck. In the corner for LaPon. 
Lapon walking out. Tees up Mikov with a drive. They score. It hit a body in front. It was trickling, trickling, and no oil baron saw it until it rolled across the goal line. And it's another power play goal for the Wolverines, and they'll take a 4-1 lead. And it's a little bit of justice for Mikov as he had an opportunity to to surrender that blue line as two Barons were swarming him. It's that second effort of Mikov that allowed, enabled that puck to stay in the offensive zone and through some really nice passing from the Wolverines, he ends up with the puck just inside the blue line, has a lot of time, sends a shot in on net and finds the back. Into the air, however, by Leslie, and he'll chip it past Roach and down the ice. Hamley rubs out Chumi, gets a stick right in the face. Chumi walking out, goes back door, they score. And now Hamley going after Evan Chumi. He broke his stick over him. Oil Barrett's getting frustrated here, and that was right in front of the official. Evan Chumi punched Jack Hamley in the face, and there's no call there, and now Hamley's going to get thrown out of the hockey game. Yeah, again, that's that frustration kicking in here, and Jack Hamley is snapping, no question. And he feels like he's justified. Certainly he did take one in the chops. Through center ice. Around a pair of oil barons. Nardi will curl back over to Foster. Foster tees up Took with a shot. He scores. Deflected in front, I believe, by Justin Young. It's another power play goal for the White Court Wolverines. And no time comes off the clock as it is a major penalty. And that looks like it's going to be the end of Eric Sudor's night as Josh Williams putting on his equipment. I remember a few times coaching Midget, you'd come into games like this and you'd almost ask the referee if it was okay if he just played running time and just let get this one over with. Barons are really in a hole now, no question about that. Into the corner. Conley battling with him and the whistle sounds and something going on behind the play. Take with a move through center ice. He's in across, driving wide down the right side, centering pass and with an open net, Natubic shoots it wide. 